Hello guys, welcome back. Today is going to be another ELF video, but this time we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to rate all of ELF's new launches from this year so far. Some things because they, whoops, I just dropped something and hit my water ball. They came out with so many different things from lip liners to a brow pen, their first tubing mascara, their camo hydrating CC cream, the plumping pen, and their liquid blushes. And you guys will find out which ones you should definitely check out and the ones that you should totally skip out on because there's definitely some that I don't even think you should waste your money on even if it is just a few dollars. So it's a full face of 2024 launches. And let's just begin with their newest complexion product, the Hydrating CC Cream Eyewear Light 240W. It's also the same shade that I wear in the original one. This product, if you would have asked me two or three years ago, I would have said this is one of my top drugstore foundations. Nowadays, I look for something a little bit different, but I still think this is a great foundation. I just don't go for full coverage anymore. So I'm only going to use maybe a half a pump, if that. I didn't put on any primer. I'm not gonna go as full coverage with it. I'm just using less. But if you need full coverage, it can absolutely do that for you. And if you wanna see a comparison to the original one and the hydrating one, I will have that video at the end. I should also just put my whole entire e.l.f. playlist. Maybe I'll do that instead or do both. I ended up putting on a half a pump and it looks so good. I'm not wearing any concealer today, so that's why I added a little bit more under the eyes, a little bit more on the forehead. I think the match is so great. If you're similar to me, you're a little light medium with warmer undertones, I think this would be a great match. Overall, I think this is great for all skin types. I just recently got a comment if this could be used on combo skin. I think it can. And even oily skin. I have oily skin. It does give a glow, but it is not so glowy and dewy to the point where it's just way too much. And even as it wears, it looks really beautiful. I'm still going to powder my skin off camera, but this looks really pretty. So I have to give the Camo Hydrating CC Cream four and a half stars. The Camo Liquid Blushes are by far my favorite launches so far. They are so good pigmented, very easy to blend. They have a variety of different colors. When this initially came out, I tried to get like a little bit of everything just to show you guys what it looked like on my light medium skin tone. The one that I wear the most is probably Dusty Rose, which is more of neutral. I think the only thing I wish they'll come out maybe in the future are more neutral shades for everyone. But I think today, since this whole entire week, it's actually getting quite warm in the 50s and spring is just around the corner. I'm going to be wearing Coral Crush. And what's nice is you can actually put them on. And they're not going to leave any marks. So you could take your time. Oh, and this is a new brush as well. This is their liquid blush. So they go hand in hand. I also like this too. I usually like all e.l.f. brushes. There are some that I don't like, but they're just too big for my face. But overall, I really like their brushes. I guess the maybe other negative and you don't realize it maybe until like three, five years later, they will, they'll start to loosen right here and they'll come apart. You can always just glue it back or since they're expensive, just buy a new one. I would say maybe that's the biggest negative to them. See how that's quite sheer? You can really just build them up. It's not something that you have to be intimidated about. Like, see what I mean? How it doesn't leave a stamp. You just take your time. I just find them to be quite forgiving, even though they are quite pigmented. Coral Crush is such a pretty color. I am so excited to wear this when I'm a little bit darker and have some more color to my skin, but this is so pretty. I probably will add a little bit of bronzer off camera. So I have to give the Camo Liquid Blushes five stars all the way. They are truly the best, probably the top liquid blushes that you can get from the drugstore. The Instant Lift Waterproof Brow Pencil. I don't think I really showed you guys this in any of my videos, and it's because I'm not a fan of this. So this is just not my type of brow product, and this is why my rating is going to be a little bit different compared to some other people that maybe enjoy this. So I have taupe, but I think I could also be neutral brown. And I do wanna show you guys this product, even though I'm not a fan of it. It's a thicker tip. I like something thinner, more micro, like their micro brow pencil is more up my alley. And this deposits quite a bit of pigment very easily to the point that I'm barely touching my brow. And because the tip is wider, it's harder to do my tail and to create those hair-like strokes. So my tail doesn't seem so defined. I guess if you're using this just to fill your brows a little more loosely versus creating hair-like strokes, then that would be the reason why you would like this. It did last quite a while. I don't know if it's 
actually waterproof because I haven't worn this and tried to dunk my head underwater. But I think the color is pretty good. I just find it to be a little too soft and the tip a little too wide. I see my brows are a little more blocky and that's because the tip is on the thicker side. So again, not the type of brow product that I would go for. So I would give this one star. The Cream Guy Lip Liner is the best. I have used these non-stop ever since I got them. I think it was last, yeah, it had been last month. These are amazing. I only own two shades. Today I'm going to wear Truth or Bare, so this one's a little more pinky. They sharpen so easily, and look how pigmented. They truly do glide on the lips. There's no tugging. It's so good. I have to give them five stars, and guys, it's only two dollars. You can't beat that. The Pop Cut Lip Plumping Pen. That was a mouthful. I know so many people were very excited about this launch. Personally, I wasn't too much, but that's just because I don't have the Tarte ones. I don't have anything to really compare these two besides the M Cosmetics ones that launched a long time ago, and those are excellent. So I have two of them. I'm gonna go for more of the pinky one to match with the lip liner. This one is in Toasted. I might be one of the very few, but I'm not a fan of this, so it's a pen. You click it, it is pigmented, and initially it looks nice. It's smooth, maybe it's a little bit plumping. It smells like vanilla. When I initially applied it, I liked it. It looked nice. It's when you reapply it, or you sip on something, you eat something, and you lose you know, some of the lip product towards the center of your lips, so you're gonna reapply, right? It starts to look really streaky, and actually, even me talking, you can actually see it. You like see my lip lines and the way it gathers towards the center. Can you see that? <laughs> kind of see where you're putting it, the streaks, and that's what bothers me. It's a little sticky, but not too bad. It's the streaks that bother me and the way it gathers towards the center of the lips. So for that reason, I give this a three star. Not my favorite product from them. Although they do have some great lip products and I am ranking all of their lip products. That will be in a future video in maybe like the next week or so. So get ready for that one. The HO Proof Inkwell Eyeliner is just okay. And it's mainly because of the applicator. I really like the shade of brown. It's not too warm, but I am not a fan of felt tip eyeliners. It takes multiple strokes for it to fully cover and to me that's because it's a felt tip like see when i'm doing the swing i just can't go out and like that because the way it's just not smooth again this would be better if it was a brush keep the formula change the applicator so if you're applying multiple layers which you kind of have to you gotta do this quickly so lash extender mascara this is their first ever tubing mascara and i know for a lot of people that love tubing mascara it's very exciting especially since it's only seven dollars i don't have the best of luck with tubing mascaras but i've also haven't tried too many but i will say since i reviewed all of the elf mascaras this one is the best i really like the brush size my lashes are gonna be a little wonky it's because of that liquid liner it's not because of this mascara is basically what i'm trying to say might be my first time Pairing these two together. I like how it gives my lashes length, definition. It doesn't give me curl, which is why it's not my favorite mascara, but you can definitely see my lashes after I add a couple of layers. My left eye looks better than my right eye. My right eye is just a little bit clumpy, but that's because of the eyeliner. So I would have to give this mascara four stars. And to me, that's still pretty good. If it could curl my lashes, it would absolutely be five stars. And I do like wearing this and knowing I could just go like this with some water and just get it right off. And there we have it, a full face of Elf Cosmetics 2024 launches. My favorite, if you could only pick one, one thing, right? You're on a really tight budget. It has to be the camo liquid blushes these are so good again you get a variety of different colors you're not going to be disappointed even for someone who has oily skin it is not too dewy as you guys saw in that application it just it wasn't that dewy to me this is like my perfect happy medium where i want a blush that's glowy but not one that's gonna you know slip off my face if you enjoy elf reviews from me make sure to like this video subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content and definitely check out my elf playlist if you're new here i think you're gonna find some really fun content over there i will see you guys in another video bye